sound better. Not all at once. <laughs> okay, what, what do y'all think? We could be locked in um, some of the other sections. Most absolutely definitely. Some of the sections, right? We're doing a lot of what we call chirping. Y'all know what chirping is? Mm-hmm. Now birds and chirping, they they together with the rhythm. Okay, we chirping. So we we need to be a lot more together. What do we have to do to be together? Listen. Yeah, I mean I was listening. I'm not gonna be together. Uh, this is one thing. I mean, you might understand, you know, what the rhythms are. Most definitely. What else? Hmm? Counting is not going to help you. The only reason it's not going to help you is there's too many rhythms to count. If you're trying to play and you're counting, one, two, did it, did, did it from five, did, did, did. no. You know what I mean? We just, it's too many parts. You start counting those parts and you got to play them. You know, that's like trying to play a solo and looking at a bunch of chord changes. F sharp G, A, C, E, did it, but no. Okay, but doesn't mean it, I, 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 I hate to say no, like I don't, I don't mean no like in no don't count. Okay, let me, let me clarify what I'm saying. I want you to go deeper than counting. Does that make sense? Like, so I'm not gonna say you, you're not wrong by saying count, but I want, I want you 
want you to be more than common. Count when you're practicing it, yes, to, to get in time. When we start playing it, mm, it's, it's a lot to count. What else we got? You could um, you could do that part in relation to your own. You know, you helping people do that from your position on this, the drum. I tried to. You you were. How were you trying to do that? Uh, so you sound so good. I mean, you can play, but tell me how you were trying to help them. Setting up the parts for the long and short sounds. There's some sections where it's just all do 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 Who are you doing doing those parts? I only follow the trumpet. Well, there you go. Now, if I'm a saxophone and I'm playing and you only follow the trumpet, am I happy about that? Only <laughs> I'm only feeding my first three kids. The other three, I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> best y'all can. <laughs> with me? Yeah. Okay. You understand what we're saying? Yeah, you're on the same page. Yeah, both. Yeah. All right. All right. But you know what you have to do as a drummer? You have a bunch of parts chirping in between. There you go. It's like a plane in turbulence. Yeah. Go faster than the turbulence. Got it. And provide a good, steady <clears throat> thing for them and figure out through the ensemble what part. You're the drummer, so you got to take the parts home and check them out. Yeah. Doesn't matter, you know, who, whether people recognize it. Your position requires that you spend more time. Uh -huh. You're the point guard on the basketball team. I remember once when I, when I was in high school, I was point guard. The coach stopped the team in the practice. He said, Marcellus, how many rebounds does... Uh, Final face said, you know, seven, three, something is wrong. He said, no. He went through the team. He started asking me people's numbers. I had no idea what their numbers was. Then he said, how many points do you have? <laughs> you know, in level. <laughs> how many stats? But give all my stats. And he said, at the end of it, that's why you'll never be a good point guard. You're wrong about everybody but you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And then he said, Purr, I blew the whistle. That was it. No more preaching. Let's go to the next drill. My entire life, I've always thought about that. Not a point, good point guard because I don't know what other people are doing. You the center, you don't have to necessarily know, right? You with me? But you can play. Now I want you to focus your playing not on the thing that you think it means to be able to play. Yeah. I want you to focus your playing on the opposite of what you think it means to be able to play. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. One thing to be able to play means the other thing to be able to play. One part of playing is eating, the other part is feeding. That makes sense? Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm only spending time with you because the drums are very important. Drums are very important. Okay. What else can we do to play these parts better? Know how your part fits in with all the other parts. That's a key to life. That is a key to understanding how to be alive. That's a key. Understand how your part fits in with every other part. And one day, one day I came home from school and my mama had told me she was tired. And we had spaghetti and I don't like spaghetti. And she put spaghetti out on the table. I said, spaghetti? Well, that was enough for her to dump that spaghetti on my head. I had a big apple there. And I said, hmm, that's what comes from not understanding where someone is. All the rest of the day, she wouldn't have did that to me. But on that day, understand, spaghetti, thank you. Just what I wanted. <laughs> I didn't think much spaghetti all day. <laughs> know where you are in space and time. That could help us more than anything, okay? On these parts. What is the saxophone doing in relation to y'all? Where are you in the voicing? What is the rhythm section doing, right? Know where you are. Know where you are. What else? Could we do to make this better? Like listen to the actual chart and like know how it sounds like. Yeah. I'm, I'm running you for president. <laughs> Except you're too smart for the job. Okay. You think that's, you know my first class, the first question in my Julio class is every year? What does the United States, what is the United States Constitution designed to do? You have to tell me anything about the Constitution. What is it designed to do? You know what answer I get? <laughs> I said, well, if we can't figure that out, what chance we have figuring out jazz? Mm -hmm. Okay, 
So what you're saying right there, listen to the chart and know what it's supposed to sound like. Listen to the arrangement and know what it should sound like. It's not just a thing that infects jazz. I remember when I first, my first year in college, I was playing the opera. Juilliard opera, we were playing something long, long opera, 483 measures rest on the trumpet. I looked at my part, I was the guy next to me, his name Justin Coyne, great trumpet player. I said, man, we got 483 measures rest. Are you gonna count it? He said, no man, learn the opera. Learn 483 measures. He said, you have to learn this at 20 minutes before we come in. <laughs> <laughs> but you see what I'm saying? Yeah, learn stuff. Right. Okay, what else suggestions we got in our rhythm section? We got any suggestions about our rhythm section? No? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of rumbling going on in the bottom. Uh, the bottom is not clear. That's not just bass folk. The bottom has got to be clear. You play the same form over and over and over again. You don't even look at the music. Turn that music around. Spend all the energy looking at the music, looking at everybody else, making them feel like they're not playing right. Does that make sense? Right? Try to get as much clarity as you can on the bottom. Yes? Right, it's going to be like way more diverse with the comping. There's more textures. You got a lot going on. Long comping, laying out, playing single hand up high. Ding, answering every now and then. Guitar already is covering space. The guitar was playing, I wasn't really. I couldn't tell. Can you play? Yeah. Okay. The guitar is playing, that leaves a lot of the middle, mid range you don't have to play in there. Right? Did you know the guitar was playing? Go oh, wide. No. There you go. Mm. I can't blame you for why I didn't know this. That's my fault. You're playing drums, you see? You with me? Yeah, and be conscious of our space. So with your comp, you don't have to do a lot. When the solos come, you got to fill some space. What else we got? We got a lot of good answers in here. Know where you are in time and space. That's a great one. What other people are doing and what you're doing. I listen to the music and know what they're supposed to sound like. That's the number one prize. <laughs> okay. Y'all know what kind of changes these are? Rhythm changes. Rhythm changes, okay. My soloist. You with me? You know what you gotta do on that bridge? Yes. What do you have to do? Once. Once. No. You're not playing chords. Pianos and guitars play chords. What do trumpets play? Your mustache is coming in good too. <laughs> I noticed that kind of stuff because mine is so gray. I don't. <laughs> we play notes, but what else do we play? Notes that are in the form of what? They become what? Notes that are supposed to be what? <laughs> That's pretty good. They have to be heard, but what else? They're supposed to be what? Melodies. The notes are melodies. Okay, now, let's just play that bridge though, for everybody who's soloing on the bridge. Let's play the bridge in the loop, okay? Let's, for rhythm sake, just play the bridge in the loop for me. One, one, and I'm, me and you are gonna play off each other. Okay, you go first and I'm gonna say one, two, oh, one, two, three, four. Uh -huh. Can I hear anything that the rhythm harmony instruments are playing? I can't hear the guitar. I kind of hear the piano. You hear what I'm saying? If you have to play on that, it's hard. The rhythm section has got to play itself into a balance where we can kind of play with y'all. You did good, you just played chord changes. Okay, I want us to be clear. Be more definitive kind of with, with the chord change. We need to hear the rhythm harmony instruments. One, two, or one, two, three.
talk to each other. But when we just try to play what chords we playing, <laughs> we, we not playing that much of jazz. But y'all see what I mean? I kept resolving to the G chord when I should have went to the next chord. I mean the F. Okay? So learn learn how to play on, on that progression. What do you do? When you're walking around in the daytime, sing the chords. Start with the bass notes. Get the relationship of the of the tonic, in our case G, then make sing with from G to B. Then B E A D. Just start working it out. And then when you start soloing on it, you're gonna be able to play on it. If you don't spend that extra time on it, you'll never get it. But if you do, you will get it. Because a lot of people got it before you. And if they can get it, you can get it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I was learning how to drive my girlfriend at that time. I was panicking on the road. I was like 20 years old. I was old and I didn't know how to drive when I was in high school. I was in New York, man, panicking, and she said, what are you doing? But I'm in the middle of panicking. <laughs> she said, look around. I looked around, she said, look at all the people out here who can drive. I looked, she said, do you know what that tells you? And I'm still panicking. <laughs> I said, yeah, yeah, she said, it tells you it's a lot easier to do than playing the trumpet. <laughs> I said, with me. And it, it proved to be that she was right. So this is what I'm telling you is right. Learn these chord changes, right? That's the, the joy of playing. Learn them. It's only four of them. If you know your multiplication tables, you know more math than you need to know to play on harmonic progressions. Right? It's 12 notes. And they progress in many different ways. Go by melody. And you don't even have to be right with all of them for it to sound good. Just be melodically oriented. Don't learn like scales and play the scale right here, I play the scale, you're not gonna learn how to play that way. I want you to learn a foreign language, I'm not teaching you words. You can't ask for something to eat with words. All you need to do is one sentence. You see what I'm saying? You with me? I'm with you. <laughs>